I'll give you an example. Just a simple thing. So I'm going to call up Roy, mm-hmm. let's say. All right. My buddy. Okay. Who I, I, who I normally. I have to have a constructive reason for calling up Roy. Now, once I pick up that phone and call Roy, it's, it's with a plan, a constructive plan, not mm-hmm. a plan to meet up and drink beer or do or drugs or, or, or sell or, something. Or, or kicking it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, kicking it. Mm-hmm. Or just having conversation. Hey, man, I ain't seen you in a long time. I'll be over, to, I'll be over Saturday morning and we'll, you know, We'll, we'll, we'll kick around the gong and whatnot. You know, mm-hmm. we'll just, well, no, 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 that's poisonous. No, it has to be, hey, Roy, this is Willie. Uh, I'll be over Saturday morning. I heard that you're having problems with that paint job on the garage. So I know about paint. So I, I know that, that that coating you put on the side, you said you had problems with it. I can come over and straighten that out because I think I know what the problem is. So I'm bringing my truck over. And uh, I'm bringing some paint that I left from my other job and whatnot. So I'm coming over, and uh, I'll show you how to do it. I'll be helping you do it, and we can get that thing done in about two hours. And it'll all be taken care of. Mm-hmm. I mean, it'll be a bit good coat, and it'll all be finished. Now, what about it? Do you have time on Saturday? And so he says, yeah, come on over, Willie. So I go over. We unload the truck. And we can have the radio going and all like that, but not too loud. I mean, because that's poisonous and toxic to the people who are still sleeping on Saturday morning. Okay. And we can have casual conversation, but we're painting. Both of us are painting. We're dipping into the paint. He's showing me what was done wrong in the first place. So we're learning something here. He's, I'm teaching him something. He's learning something. See, and I'm learning something about, you know, uh, what's going on with him. I mean, as far as some project that he's working on. So we all talk in business talk. So it leads to so something, have leads time to to something be, productive. Yes, we don't have time. To, and so, now, now this is very important. As soon as we finish cleaning up those paintbrushes and all like that and stand back and look at that wonderful job. I mean, it's a wonderful job we did. I mean, and we both admire it and whatnot. Then what I do then is not going to be in it sitting around making small talk. Load up that truck and say, okay, Roy, you know, that's a good job, and I'll be seeing you sometime and all like that. And I'll be getting back to you. You take care now, and I drive off. And I may not see Roy for another two years. We are having fun like Tom Sawyer was having fun painting that fence with his buddies. That's fun. I mean, we are having a great time. When we look at that garage and see how, you know, that garage looked awful. I mean, it was an eyesore all over the neighborhood. Now it's the best, most outstanding thing there. I mean, you know, we got that paint job done and all like that. That garage is first class. I mean, you know, we're both feeling good. We had fun. We were talking. We had a little radio uh, in the background and whatnot while we were doing it. We were talking about old times and all like that. I mean, we weren't nitpicking each other because we're so busy. I mean, you know, hey, you know, hand me that other brush and all like that. See what I mean? So, hey, now I'm gone. Now, I will get along with Roy, Willie will get along with Roy, and Willie and Roy will get along all down through the ages because every time they hook up, is something constructive going on. Something constructive. You you talk, that, that is fun. That is over-the-top fun. Mm-hmm. What black people call fun is something destructive. See, we go hunting something destructive. We don't even know how to have fun. We don't have any idea of how to have fun.